Hello everyone, me phone here. Welcome back to another Stanley Cup playoffs. And this is game number six once again. As right now, game number two of game six happens to be the next one of the double header for today's game. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs facing against the Bolts of Tampa Bay. These are the rival teams that they have been facing it across in the playoffs for just a couple of years. Man, this is definitely one of the better plays in this game. And it's right now, it's about to go down. The win or go home for Toronto Maple Leafs will be the last one to carry. As right now, the last game, we saw the Islanders blowing out the Hurricanes with a score of 3-2. This is a tough range in net. No question was concerned. They've really done the best job that they are doing. But now, as it being said, it's about to go down for this game. I will have paintbrush along with OJ and test tube and center ice. I'll be back with the post game show. Now, enjoy yourself for the next game of the Leafs and the Bolts. Paintbrush, all yours. Hello, everyone. Paintbrush here, and we are back at Amali Arena. It's about to go down, and for another part of the game in the USA versus the Canadian team. This is where it comes down to win or go home for Toronto. Puck is settled and we are underway at Amalie Arena. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have his Pogashan. On the back of the angle we have his Marner. Now on the other side we have his Killorn. Right across the angle we have his Morgan Riley. Then we have his Braden Point. Right from the back of the other hand we have across here is Kucherov. Then swinging across from here, we have another player this goes for, and for the last one turned out, is Hedman. The starting goaltender is Andrei Vesilevsky. Andrei Vesilevsky is one of the better playing, but they have done one of the best. In all the part of this game for the Bolts, they were definitely a franchise player that they were really up to a challenge. This ultimately has to turn out one of the better plays in this game, and the only offense they can tell you, they can get the game done. Now over again to Hagel on the outside in the wing. Right towards the offense right now. Stan goes in there. Rebounded up by Sir Riley with a huge stop by Samsonov. And Stan goes right, rejects the puck. Now swing over to Bogashan. Now Sir Riley has it on the outside. Moves quickly over to Hedman. He gives it off to Stan Kuss. Short with the bounding. That chomps him off and Sir Riley could not save it a bounding. The Leafs will carry it in the offense zone in the both territory. Marner in the inside. Stop A by Veselevsky. Now Marner. Crowd of air. Matthews. And stopped by Veselevsky. Rebounding the puck here. We have his hole. Out of the zone. Here's Matthews again to Marner. New changeup. And now it's Hagel. Has broken up. Matthews with the puck now. Racing in the inside. Come saved by Veselevsky. Got a good one call. But uh, had to be very careful out there. To really go with the flock. It's very not tough to be honest to keep the keys right in there. And with that move, it will be tough to get it in there. Oh, one time stop made. And here's Cohen back over again to Fritz. He finds Sergeyev. Sergeyev shot. Good save by Samsonov. Well, the play with 16.23 to go in the first period of the game. Back to another offense run. They're ready to take on in the faceoff. We're still scoreless. Glad you join us here for tonight's game. O'Reilly will win the faceoff. Now here's Nylander to O'Reilly. Oh! Bumped out! That bolt was a flash. Really too long to get it over. Maroon has broken up. The Veers, on the other hand, finding a run. Perfect takes it over. Now I'll go over again to Bellar. Fires along the wreck. Back around the net. Over again to Furbix. Now swings over to Bellamar. Bellamar on a fast break. He's in the shot. We got it front. Oh, that went right near the goalpost. And that was stayed out. Nylander getting the puck right back into it. Here's Perry. Get a little bumped up with the hooking. McCabs got it out right over the cross. Maroon takes it over. Bellamar towards the back. Finds the probe and pass to Cernax. Now it's Cole. Takes it over. Pass broken up. Still holds on. Almost lost the puck. Cernax towards the right side and in the middle. Maroon over and again. And threw it all over. Shoots to that. Rebound in front by Sentinel with a huge save. 
their close one because Samsonov was very not good. That play in the and bounding, it just really has to tur turn down someone else to get right towards the net. Now with the win, here's Gordano. Gordano will try to leave it over to Kufet. Lost the puck here and Point has it back. Now Cernax with the puck. Losing in its headburns to the speed. And Kutura! In and out! Hey, rejecting the flex and the net will not be in! Camp over again to Jackrock. Toronto towards the offense zone into the again to Lugrin. Now Camp in the inside. Moving to Kerfoot. In the middle of Bounty! Stop a save here by Veselovsky. Veselovsky got a good save out of it because that was a very close call, but they were giving it up. Kutura goes down and now Jankrock will take a rebound here. It's easy to say when a collision comes in there, you know that Kutura couldn't try to find anybody else. He just has to give it off to someone else instead of doing the last one in bounty. Here's Kutura towards the other angle and now right over again to Furbix. Furbix over again to Cole. Cole swings off to Jeanette. Jeanette to Kutura. Shot! We got save made by Sensenov. Lafferty right over into the offense zone in the Bolts territory. Stopping in a corner for a loose ball puck. Hole oh, with it now. Over to Akira. Stopping! Lafferty, Veselovsky save. We'll carry the puck with 11.30 to go in the first period. Senators glided in towards the offense zone. It's still scoreless in this game. Now with the win, Riley got a good crouch down here. Hegel and Akura. Up with the shot. Rebound again front. Good stuff made by Veselovsky. Here comes Stamkos. Stamkos will give it off to Hog Hegel. On the back over to Sorelli. Sergeyev will try to rebound the puck and now swing to Sorelli. Sorelli over again to Sergeyev. Now Furbix on the outside. Over over again to Sergeyev. Rebound the man. In the and rebounded again by Samsonov with a stop. Marner towards the wing. Gets crashed down right towards the offense zone. Firing a puck around the net. No one his whistled as it still calls it for a clean play. Riley will have the puck in the offense zone. Finds Matthews. Matthews in the corner. Tampa Bay's got it now and across the offense. Offense zone in the Bolts territory, now in the Toronto territory. Here's Paul. Pass along. Cohen. Ooh, that was close call. But Samson had it right away and was right toward next to the net. Easy look and easy get. It's still scoreless in this game in the first period, passing the midway period. Matthews wins the faceoff. He carries along over to Bunny. Bunny in the wing. Try to get the puck over again, and he will fire it right across to Bellamar. Bellamar swing to Hedman. Marner takes it over with the stiff puck steal. Perry carries the puck across again to Bovishan. Now he finds Maroon. Maroon in the offense zone finding Bellamar. Perry on the outside, move around the man, middle. Bovishan, go over to Maroon. Now swing to Perry. Back in there, stopped by Sentinel. 8-10 to go in the first period, still no score. With the better play of this call, Kucherov has to make it snappy with his own ability to take his own risk. The better of this playing and the bounding of the transaction is a very hard one to maintain. Austin Matthews on the other side has gotten to make it another snipe goal and try to make it make a shock and awe moment. This play was going to be a tough one for him tonight, and this one is a very that must do for Austin Matthews to pick one up. These guys are very intense out there, and I'll be watching one of them to find out who will have it in. Back to you all. Tavius wins the face off now, back over again to O'Reilly. Now here's Nylander. Nylander getting a little bump out of it. O'Reilly over to get the McCab. Pass to Tavius, stopped by Veselevsky. O'Reilly back to the Beers. Trying to give it up to play. And the point! Stop made by Wisilevsky. Ogishan right over again to the offense zone. We'll now switch it up. 
Rebounding to Puck is Kucherov. In the middle is Point. Point towards the wing. Killorn on the outside. Now over again to Bogushan. Now by Sukachev. Shoots. Drop blocked again. Skircherov over again to Bogushan. After him. Finding over his point. The back in. Rebound stopped by Samsonov. Oh, that close calls out there. Samsonov was pretty good. But they are not going to choose him to try to give word of him. They still got a lot of a passing effective, and also the shots on goal turn to be that clear. Paul wins the faceoff. Sugachev shot. Oh, Samsonov got it right in time. They're still on the road moving around the attacker. Which still, with a scoreless game in the period, no goals that made. They're looking for a first goal to make the win in that first period to get up the lead. Kerfoot will fire around the net. Sergeyev will take it over for the offense zone. Sending it over to the net. Jeanette towards the offense zone. In the wing. Outside Sergeyev. Now finds Furbix. Sergeyev over again to Paul. Paul shot. Suck made by Samson off with the glove save. He got a little wrist out of it here because Sir Sergeyev was giving it off to Furbitz and then after that he was giving it off to Nick Paul. That passing was a very hard one to stay in bound and they really are getting it over with. Now on the other hand, here's Furbitz. He takes a shot. That stop made here, another one for Samsonov. Sergeyev over again to Furbitz. Under five minutes to go in the first period of the game, it's Furbix with the puck. Move around the back end! Rebound will not stop here! Kerfoot firing the puck around the net. Now regrouping the puck on the offense, they're going to need to make that one new changes. Cues a number one for Bellamar. Perry right towards the wing in the corner. Maroon will take his own time. Now Perry will swing it over. With the pass, broken up. Bellamar recovers it. Trying to get over with the attacker. Bellamar will not have it in here as it goes out of play over to that. Only 3.40 left to go in the first period of the game. They're still a tough team and they never made it to the playoffs that far for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, you could say that it was very that tough. Be honest, however. They definitely did really well in the offense. A tough one had to be out there, clearly, but it may not be enough to try to, like, pull it inbound. The offense was very, very tricky. Here's Marner right towards again to Riley. Riley towards again to Hall. Matthews towards the wing. Shot, glove saved by Veselevsky. The winner of this one will be moving on to take on against the Boston Bruins in the second round of the game. Marner right towards the offense zone. Now carries off to Matthews. 2.30 left to go in the first period. Here's Matthews. Round and weave. Rebound. And puck it away to Cernax. Here comes Steven Stamkos. Stamkos. Round and back in. Stop by by Samsonov. Oh, that tricky play was going to be a good call for a breakaway chain. But he still showed up. Now they're ready to do another offense zone to pick up their run. It's still scoreless. Point winning the faceoff. Killer over to point. Now Cole. In the offense side, Matthews takes it over. Here comes McCabe in the other way. Poked it away, and point gives it off to Killorn. Killorn on the fast break. Move around it. Oh, he got bumped up. No, that Killor was able to make that stick move, but it looks like he caught him. He said, I'm going to take you down to muck it out. Here's Point. Middle shot. Stop by Samsonov. We're under a minute of play in a period. It's still scoreless in the game. Steams are ready to get this thing set. And right now, McCab will take the win. Here is Kerfoot. Kerfoot on the other side of the attacker. In the zone, looking for open space. Finding to crack. Shot stuck, made by Veselevsky. Sergeyev toward the other way, now in the offense zone. Picks up the ball. 
Backhander, rebounding will pick up here. Here's Brody right towards the outside, down to five seconds. And here's Jeanette, trying to take the wing. And he lost the puck, won't take it from here. What a play inbounding, with no score this one in the first period, it's end scoreless. We'll be right back with the second period after this. And we are back at Amali Arena, getting ready to start the second period. Now we're ready to go. With the starting of the group, we have his Kucherov over to get to Bogashan. Bogashan brings it over to Point. Point fires around the puck to Killorn. Killorn swings it. Bunny takes it over. Here on a fast break in the Rowan. Poke it away. Killorn gives it off to Point. Point on the other side, as we're talking about the first half summaries of this statistic run. Let's see how well they did here, OJ. Well, they were doing a lot of a back-to-back -back moment. A lot of heaving in and sliding out. But it's not very, not very easy if they were going to like try to like keep up the run. Every score is turning out to be a very hard one to take over in between. But nobody has already come up with the right idea right instead. It just really has proved to be everyone else's game. They really have to try to figure it out one again, and they do it once more. They really got to get this thing over. And a delay penalty call. This will be on Tampa Bay where a slash against Braden Point got him slashed. Now that is not good because Braden Point doesn't really get that one right with the face off because he had it too early. He wanted to like put a little slap on someone to try to put a revenge on him. That's not very good for the offense and now this will be the first power play coming up for Toronto Maple Leafs. Now they're in a face off ready to take on. In a power play ready for the Toronto. Sorelli takes it up. Gordano with the puck now back over to Matthews. Matthews towards the wing, in the middle, and Cole will try to fire it out. Cirelli, now Lugren, gets bumped up a little bit, and here goes, Lugren up! Oh, he just didn't have it right! Well, that was very tough, because if there would have been an offensive, they would have had the fight call. Now, they didn't have that. He scores! Austin Matthews! First power play goal for the Leafs. Now with that play for Austin Matthews, he was able to make that one scoring right towards the Veselovsky. He gave it a little faith. He just really wanted to go right after him. But in that case, he didn't really have to try, try to stay away from him because he was right towards the attack. He didn't really have that much time to think about that. That was very not hard, but they weren't going to keep it up. Offsides the call and now icing is whistled on Tampa Bay. Neary to go in the late period of this period. The Leafs have it out with the one nothing lead over to the Tampa Bay Bolts. Here's McCabe. Sarkos! Good block shot. Here on a fast way point. We're on a move. He scores! Steven Stamkos! That's his 510th goal of the season! Look at that move. The captain of Steven Stamkos got it right around the goaler. Goaltender really didn't see what Steven Stamkos was going, but look at this. The Stamkos and the team, they are tied up by one. Nick Paul wins the faceoff down, circuit jab right over again to Paul. He lost the puck, now over to Bunny. Now up with the puck, right around the net, now fighting over again to Stamkos. Stamkos right towards the wing. Could be going for it again, but Furbix takes it over. Now here's Stamkos. Right around the wing, shot. Oh, put it up a little deflection out of here. They didn't want to do it because they just didn't, didn't want to fight. They don't want to care about it. Brody over to Matthews. Behind him, looking over to Matthews. Shot is deflected off the player. Recovery the puck is Killorn. Killorn in the middle. Shoots one. Rebounded in front of again. That. Samsonov put up a corner and a save with 5.15 for you to go. They're still looking for an open player of the offense. They're just trying to give up the run. Here's another one that they are putting up a tying in this game in game number six.
Here's O'Reilly win. Now Brody will have it over. And Bogashan takes it over. Right to, again, the point. And McCabe takes it over. Poke it away, you're Michael Lord. McCabe fires it around the net. The Bolts carry now into the offensive territory to pick up the run. Brody over to Nylander in the Bolts territory. Put it up the run. A little smackdown right towards the slash. And Killorn will take it over again to Bellamar. Bellamar trying to move it around. And O'Reilly's got the puck. Passing down to 15 minutes to go in the first second period of the game. Hedman trying to like put a battle on him. Now he gives off to Perry. He fires it around the net. And it's taking a slap on here. Nylander right over again to Tavirs. Tavirs putting it up on number run. Gives it over to Bellamar. Maroon right over the offense zone. Fires it around the net. Perry on the backside. Back in her shot. That goes way off the mark. They have to fix it because they don't want her to do this one too much at the same time. Cernax over it again. And stop again by Samsonov. Here's Shankrab right toward the wing. Now finds Hole. Hole in the middle shot. Save it off here with another recover of Vesilevsky. Perry does it again. Now back to Belmar. Over to Jeanette. Cernax. Right over to get the Cole. Fires it across. Rebound in the front of the by Jez Samsonov. Rebounds it, and Samsonov saves it. The blade of Samsonov really got him out of here because he was making a quick reaction. Gotta have to hold on to yourself because this is a hard one to try to keep us going. Now the pass over to Colton. We've under 12 minutes to go. Fires it around the net. Jeanette. Right to Paul. Shoots one. And he scores! Nick Paul receiving his 12th goal on the playoffs of the game. They're now up in the lead by two and one. With excellent recovery, look how Nick Paul was looking. He was right towards the goaltender, and that deflection was putting it right towards the goalie to the goalpost. They've got a good run as Nick Paul was receiving at this two misses in the game. They are really well to pick up their offense, and they are just going right through it. You can't just say that Nick Paul's at the worst. He just really wants to keep it going. And as for the agreeing of his progressive run here by by Kucherov, he really was heavy enough to try to pull it from the offense. He was excellent. He put it up here with a great run. He just got it all down. I'll be watching him for the next part of the game here with the goal. Back to you guys. He goes right over it again to Paul. Paul twists it over to Fervix. Now swings to Killorn. Killorn going over to Fervix. Now he looks over to Sergachev. Sergachev shot. Kind of rebounded in front of it, and now Kucherov had it recovered. In the corner now is Killorn. Killorn lost the puck as Cordiano will the, with the puck take away. Here's Lafferty. Lafferty losing the puck. Fouls it around the net. And Fervix will take it over to Point. Point turns the corner. Moving around the net. Put a shot. Kucherov stops saved by Samsonov. Past the midway period in the second period. It's a 2-1 it's a lead. We still have a lot of time for this period. As right now the Tampa Bay Bolts are already up by one. Now here's Brody. And Marner will give it over again. Back to Bunning. Bunning get a little bumped out of it. McCabe's got it now across towards the Bunning. And here's Point. He will take it on the loose. Move around the net. Watching the play puck. We'll give it over to Hedman. Puck misfires. Leaves out of his own. And they will have to regroup here with Bogashan. They really need to get this thing a go. They gotta start all over again from the top. You don't want to make it too, too much mistake because that will be a lose off with the puck in the game. Whoa! Big save here! Samko's trying to fight for the rebound. Now he's running on the other way. Samko's got it now. Now we'll swing it over to Hedman. He smashes over to Paul. Tavir takes it away. Marner towards around the neck. 
Makes it, makes it pass. Stop made by Veselevsky. Got a great pocket of rebounding. Bogashan gets bumped over. Hagel over again to Steph Coast and Samirs has one. Motor shot. Stop by Veselevsky. We'll hold the play with 7 on 3 to go in the second period of the game. We're going to call on this release bit. Andre Veselevsky has a control in this. He has a lot of the perfect balance to get this wild save in his game. He all has it now. Make a figure eight of his game. He could just keep that one up here. Just the tightness to make that score count. His saving is a better authentic run to keep an eyes on. I'll be watching here. And we will keep your eyes tuned here on Andre Veselevsky. To keep on with the saves. Back to you guys. Bolivar shot stopped by Sensenov and almost went behind the net. But it was stopped here by 6.27 left to go. Now the officials are ready to get set here on ice. If you're looking for a chance to get the tickets here for internetmatesanity.com slash tickets, we have uh, we currently have some couple tickets left here for the Saban Media Center. But in General W. Lynch, we only have one more show here at the tickets that are already up because ours are sold out. So only two p.m. shows will host the screening only that will be here in a w, Gerald W. Lynch Theater. And you can be the next one in here by visiting the website here or scan the, QR, scan the QR code right towards it on your phone. And download the event, event.com on the app, download it on the app, or head it on here on Google Play. That's what, that's right. Once again, it's the BFDI and an anime insanity experience. And you can be the next one here. We'll see you there on the show. Shot! Scores! Wow! Hit the goal post! And it went in the net! Well, I have to look at the replay. It looks like that Alex Killorn was putting him right into pressure. But Brandon Point gives it to Alex Killorn. He was right towards that. Hit it from here and right around it. That was a hard one. It's tough to clear now because whenever he gets a creation of this move, Alex Killorn was giving it a right over with the goal with the goal post and right into the net. That was a hard setup. But great thing on Alex Killorn, he's got it all down. Tampa Bay Bolts extend their lead to 3 to 1 series. Oh, messed it up entirely, and Veseleski holds on. That's a wild save. They're going all over again. Killorn in the corner. Takes his time and stopped again by Sanzanov. Now Colin will have it over. Now Furbix on the outside, now over to Paul. In the middle is Colin. Shot! Stop made by Sanzanov. Kerfer will take it over for the offense. Try to rebound the puck again. Jack Crock in the corner finding Colin. Pass to Paul. Ball racing towards the offense, fires the puck around the net. Jeanette will have it covered up in the corner. Over to Bogashan. Now he finds Heaven. Heaven swings to Colton. And Heaven back the other way. Here's Bogashan. Over to Heaven. Tries again to Colton. Shoots one. It's deflected off the goaltender to stick. Shot stopped by Samsonov. 2.24 left to go in the second period. It is still a 3-1 to one game. Now both players are set, ready to take the faceoff inbounding. Now the win puts it up. Riley puts it over to Bunning. He gives it off to Marner. Marner inside. Give a good stop by Headman. Matthews with the puck. Shots up! Rebound scores! Michael Bunny has received his first rebound and they're coming back by one. Excellent play on the offense now because Austin Matthews did give a good run to Michael Bunny. And right now he's receiving his set 12th game in the playoffs against the Bolts in the in a most part of their careers in franchise history. Bunny will try to regroup the puck here now by Marner. In the middle shot, it goes to Flecker off of Perry. Here's Maroon right towards the outside of the wing. He goes right over to Bellamar. Bellamar swings to Bogashan, now over again to Heaven. Heaven to Bogashan. Takes the net, that's blocked by Marner. Heaven to Bellamar. 
We are now in the final minute of play in the second period of the game. It's a 3-2 game. That goes off the goaltender and it goes up into the netting and out of play. Now they have more time to think about it from here. It is a 3-2 game. The Bolts are up by one. Now the Leafs will take it over with Brody. Now Bunny on the other side of the tent. Racing over towards the Marner. Marner pass broken up. Victor Hedman right towards the offense in the center. Getting too many bodies in the way and doesn't have much room to have more space. McCabe right towards the offense of the wing. Up to Matthews. One timer. Oh, Rosalowski save. Passing the puck here and it's blocked. Cernax, Stamkos will carry the puck out in a neutral zone. And so that ends the second period. What a play for Bunning, the rebound, and now they're back bound down by one. Three to two is where we left off. Third period's coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with you after this. We are down to the final period in game six in Tampa Bay. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this part of our rival matchup, the Canadian and the USA team. As right now, the Tampa Bay Bolts are one of the bestest teams in the National Hockey League of the postseason. Let's talk about this. How have they ever done it here since they have made it to the playoffs that far since they were coming in to make the win out of it, OJ? Well, we say it because it was very that different. All we could definitely uh, notice that the Bolts definitely did win two Stanley Cups in a row, one for 2020 and one for 2021. That was two times stop. I know we all loved it because the Bolts say, we are strong, we want to win, and this is what our team in competition really wants to have it all with the great stop. Everybody really loves it because they really enjoyed it. Others say they said they had enough with the Bolts. They say, why is Veselevsky not leaving with the with the Bolts? Why is Kucherov not leaving with the with the Bolts? Who else is going to uh, try to pretend that there's a bully there? Will it be Igor Shosturkin? Will it be Benachek? We don't know. Well, it may not be that one point. It may not be Igor Shosturkin for sure. We're not going to make that one guess that count. No way. Kucherov over to Hegel. Fires around the net. And Paul tries to reach out with the group. Looks over. Stamkos. Oh, a little too close here. Fervix. Shot. We got it out. And it stays out of the net. Circuit Chap will take it over again. Now he finds over again a Hagel. Back to Circuit Chap. Paul went over. In his own. Riley. He finds O'Reilly. Toronto in the offense zone. And Nylander. Oh, hello. That was a big smash. I think that Bolt was putting up a, wow, are you serious? That was just like a smash on you seen here. Wow. On O'Reilly goes down, says, no, sir, you can't stop me. Furnace, pass, rebound, Samson, I'll save. 15 to 21 to go in the third period, and we got more underway. For tonight's coming up game, we will be able to be seeing who's the next one to bring it in. We've got another matchup here for you. It's the Wilds and the Jets, here back at the Kenneth's Life Century. Following along with another part of the game, and then from the east coast of the Pacific to Canada, we have is across it is the Edmonton Oilers of the Rogers Place against the Los Angeles Kings. Right now, the Kings have a 3-2 lead over Edmonton Oilers. But could, could they say, will they tie the game up? Or will they move on to the next round? Well, they might be tough. I want to see the LA Kings. They never made it that far to the playoffs since 2014. That was the last one. They made it all the way down to the Stanley Cup Finals and they were the champions. That was the bar that they beat against the New York Rangers the last time, but I'm hoping in that case that maybe they will do it again. Oh, good stop made by Sazanov. Maru back to Cole. Now over again to Fermix. Regrouping the puck here and a new man change is Colton. 
Colin has nowhere else to go. He's strength crack. On the powering rush move, Bellamar takes it over with a steal. Now he moves quickly over to Colton. Trying to move a stick randomly, but it's Bunning taking over to Matthews. Puck leaves out. Regroup the puck is to net. Right toward the middle. Cool. Blocked it away and it sends it off with the save. Lots of time left for this period. The Tampa Bay Bolts have a 3-2 lead over the Elite Maple Leafs. Matthews wins the faceoff. Lil Grim will have the puck here. The offense side of Matthews now finds Marner. 12-10 to go in this third period. Finds Matthews. Shot went tipped wide. Kucherov swings the point. And stop again by Lil Grim. Matthews towards the wing in the offense zone, now picking up the run. Point has it recovered out. Kucherov towards the offense zone. On a fast break, here he comes. Hurst shot! Gorn! Now is it able to make that one in there? Kucherov brings off the headman. Focus shine. Pass to Point. Point in the corner! That's stopped again by Desensenov. Marno to Gordano. Buddy. Trying to make a stick out of it and Lidgren right over to Matthews. Matthews shot! Make it snappy, but it's stopped by Vesilevsky. Now over to Hagel. Moving back to back four points in a row to Paul. Paul! In the middle! Not enough timing. Marner right over again to Matthews. We passed the midway period in the third. Trying to get a tie run. And now, back the other way, here's Nylander. Nylander towards the back. Gordano over to Bunning. Trying to watch it freely, and he scores! He ties the game! Well, that's what you call Michael Bunning. That's what the reflection comes in. That was why Michael Bunning was putting a tie in this game. And he says, you know what? Let's do this. We want to do it. We don't want the Tampa Bay to win. If they do, then we are out and we lose that round. Here's Samkos. Looking for another shot. Stop again by Samsonov. Ball oh, right over it again on the outside over to Bogoshan. Here's Samkos the other way. In around the middle. Shot back can stop me. Trying to make the pass to Paul. But it's stopped again by Samsonov. Tavir's torched around the other way. No penalty call on Tampa Bay. Here's a pass over to Paul. Paul towards the offense zone. Finds again a headman. More timer, both are shy. We took it in front, and Tavir's takes it away. Now it's Riley. Over to O'Reilly. Now back to Cole. Now the Elander will have it out. Poked it away. Good stop by Killorn. Point towards the middle. And he finds Killorn and it's off the bat angle. That misses off the target. You don't want to mess this up there because this was really not hard. They have to fix it. Kucherov towards the other way. Bumped up to the corner and Point recovers it. Killorn to Point. Shot! Oh, made it that Point with a snipe in. Point shot. Off again by Samsonov. Oh, he's so good. Can't get rid of him because that was what he was doing. That was the biggest call that you have never seen it before like this, Paintbrush. A tough one never quits. Nylander around Bogoshine. Stop again by Vasilevsky. Point. Pass to Perry. All the way down to Samsonov. Here's McCab. Now finds Kerfoot. Kerford fires it around the net. And Bellaware will have to give a new change up here. Trying to make a new move. Still holds on. Now finds Maroon. Maroon went over to Cole. He gives off to Cernax. Cernax shot! Put it around the net and sends it on with a save. 5.13 left to go in the third period. It is still a tie game. Most of the teams are in a hard move. Now it's a threes in the game. 
Now here's Searns. Brody has it out. Finds the Kerfoot. Kerfoot right around him. Try to go past towards the zone. And Maroon will take it over. In the middle, Brody still has it out. Now he finds over McCab on the outside, over to get the Junkrock. Maroon still out in trouble. Junkrock battling for the loose puck, and Maroon give a pass over to Colton. Here's Maroon. Short stop here by Samsonov, and two time stop for Samsonov. They will hold the puck with only 4 6 to go in the third period. We have the winner of the call, and it's Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews has a lot of a shock and awe moment. He wants to make a good shock and awe and try to pull up a good collision to take over with the win. He's very that tough, and he's very on a great play. I'll be keeping an eye on to for Austin Matthews to put a shock and awe if the lead comes in or tired. Back to you. Riley lost the puck. Paul. Riley did you that? Oh, says it on save! And it's still a little dime. Samsonov is the biggest part of a goaltender for tonight. They're saying that go for the MVP win of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Well, I'm not sure if you're going to get that one a goaltender of the year, but they were really that far for Samsonov to try to roll it around. Roll the game in. Roll Leafs roll. They're just going right into a crazy setup change. They just really wanted to do that with you again. Paul kicking the puck over again to Furbix. Now he gives off to Colin. Jeanette carries offside and will hold it with under three minutes to go. Another angle of this period. You can feel the energy now. It's a tie game. Now it's another win for Austin Matthews. Riley the Bunny. Hooked it away. Good stop by Colton. Jeanette taking over the middle. On the offense side, Riley takes it over again. Matthews still has it. Boomed it across. What a slam. That's what you could call a revenge out there. Very tough. You can stop them, slow it down. Nearing two minutes to play in the third period, it is still a tie game. Now with the win, here's Brody to the Veers. Down to two minutes to go. Now he's O'Reilly. Kucherov wants to get it over. Killorn gives it over to get the point. His point finds Kucherov. Kucherov to Bogashan. Bogashan in the middle. Gets away with that one. And then swings off to Kucherov. Shot fired. Stop again by Simpsonov. Really well on the play. Got to get this thing done and get it right. Otherwise, you can't get it over with if you're going to try to make it over with the cut. Just a minute of play in the third period, and here, back the other way, is Point. Point still holds on. Fire around the net to Gilhorn. Kucherov swings it over again to Bogashan. And Point still has it. Gilhorn. Hey, man. Bogashan towards the outside. With the win, it went off that target wide. And point. Kucherov still holding on. Bogashan still up there. No penalty call on Toronto. Bogashan still has it. Point. Middle shot. Stop by Samsonov. Oh boy, this is a tough one to say. Samsonov, you gotta keep going. MVP. Time winding down in the third period, under 20 seconds. Here's Paul, Sergachev blocked away, and Barner has it. Here's Buddy, will have to take the win, and not this time. Here's the win, puts it in, stop goes, shoots, blocks. Matthews with the puck, and now we'll end the in regulation of the period. We are going to overtime. This is it, win or go home for the Maple Leafs. We will be right back after this one, right after this message. Well, the fantastic game of how this all had happened, the longest event that we've ever seen with the Tampa Bay Bolts. And you know this thing, we've definitely say that Alex Killorn was definitely one of the best. Especially Steven Stamkos 
definitely got us under 511th goal of the season. That's a lot of pressure in this game imbalance that was turning out to be on the run. I have to agree with you. They were really on a tough breakout angle. And you know, this wasn't the only thing about Veselovsky was doing. He never plays it before, and because he wants to get his team up right towards the offensive zone, they were really onto a battling crowd roar to make it look like they were on fire. Especially, I just really had said, because there was a lot of smackdowns in the division, they were really on a close call to range. They really had done the much. And definitely, they, uh, the rival of this team turned out one of the toughest games. It must mean that Toronto is definitely a rival team on Tampa Bay Bolts. But my say, I think the Bolts are definitely the rival teams playing against the one of the uh, children of the team on uh, the Boston Bruins. Probably. I'm not even sure if you won't definitely uh, take care of that one for sure. But, uh, you know, we may have another way if we can go for the win. Well, we'll see how this one goes. And this time, a new setup has been changed for our Season 2 for this part of the postseason. Because now, new for this season, we have this changed because it's now continuous overtime. This time, we will not stop the play and pounding. We will keep it going until the next goal game wins. And no shootouts won't be able to put up for the regular season. Because now, it's about to change it up. Now, let's get you back to Tampa Bay. Win or go home, what will it be? Overtime about to begin in the, in the sixth game of the season. And here we go. Overtime starts now. Here's Matthews towards the wing. Gets bumped up a bit and Veselovsky will try to give it off. Heaven will try to keep it over again. Killorn right towards the outside. On a fast break for the win! Oh, didn't really have enough timing to go over. It went too far. Lokashan right over the point. Brought him in for the win! Blocked up by Matthews. Good for stopping play about it because this one really needs to keep it going right towards the offensive run. They really got to show it up. That's what they need to try to help them save again. As Zaleski got a good save out of it and stopped by Bogashan. And point. We'll try to win it here. Here's Gilord! And stopped by Vez Sensenov. Bogashan reaches off the Stamkos. Goes with the win! Backhander! Stop saved by Sensenov. Well, all the play with under 20 minutes to go in overtime. They still have a lot of timing to get it done. We're still even up. They are still working on their way. Paul wins the face off. Hadman gets shot wide. Paul trying to wait around here back over to Hadman. Now Bogashan will try to keep it over again. Now behind the Hadman. Hall on the outside. Marner will try to give it over to Hall. Try to fling it around. Tampa Bay right towards the work. Matthews in the corner now finds Riley. Round him in on him. Put a stop here by Bogashan. And Stamkos will try to win it. Will he take it? Oh, went right toward the wall. Not a better sign. They really got to keep it going. Stamkos back to Furbix over to get the sucker chat. Here's Paul with the win. Stop again by Samsonov. Boom, that goes down. No, they're really slamming it down right toward the wall. I mean, easy on that one here because of stone. I'm not sure this was ever going to happen like this, but they just didn't notice that they were keeping it going. Fans getting excited here. Circuit Chapel over to Perry. Now finds perfect for the outside. We'll have to reset it off here, and Circuit Chapel will have to reset the play. Yeah, they really wanted to do it again. I think they needed a little help out there because they really are working in the offense to run. They seemingly they couldn't get enough to get over it. Good tussling inbound by the goaltender. Barry swings off to Bellamar. Bellamar! Pass! Win it! Oh, did not get it right in time. Sugar Champ right over the outside of Permix. 
Carrying over again to Thermix. Thermix with the win! Stop again by the goaltender. Oh, uh, Hegel went down pretty badly. Not for long. Uh, put a save here. They are still getting a little desperate out there. They say that they want their Leafs party pit to be a place to be. And they want to win. Here's Riley towards the other side. Trying to move in front of it. Poked away. Good stop made by the Bolts. Here's another one. With the win, Perry! Rebound! Put it in front! First time, no sorry! Samsonov still clearing the puck out of it with 13.21 to go. They're still under talking. 3-3 three three is where we left off and sat last. Now Cole swings off to Cernax. Kucherov trying to go one over. With the shot! He scores! T. B. Bolts! On now to the second round to play at Boston! What a win! Kucherov, we love you! This was the overtime we get as fans to be excited! And just as you know it, Kucherov with the overtime winner score! Their team is moving on! What a play! And this has been an upset in this game that we've noticed but we all salute fans, that's why you call it your overtime winners. Game over, Leafs. We are moving on. And this has been an excellent run of the game. Hey, bros, along with OJ and Test Tube, this has been your presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thank you so much for joining with us. Now to Son of Beast to close the game. See you next time. All right, guys, thank you all so much. First start of the game goes to Michael Bunning with two goals and a hit. He made that with a good rebound after Matthews put up a save, and that one rebound puts it in. Then your second star goes out to Nikita Kucherov, an overtime winner, and the snappy round gets it through. That's your win in overtime. And your first star goes to Ilya Samsonov. 63 saves, 0.940% of his saving ability run, two-time stop. They're very not good in authentic run. Yeah, I think the continuous overtime was much better than the going right into overtime of this period and end it because that didn't really help. So, yeah, that's because, you know, real NHL games of the Stanley Cup playoffs comes with continuous overtime. If that's what they do, they get this better. Here are the total's final summary of the statistic runs as they do done it right there on the side. 67 shots on goal for Tampa Bay, zipping it through like a zip-zap cross move. They're just doing it a lot of the better they can. And especially you can't just say that who's faster with the bolt to try to reach from the ground and then, and then boom, lightning struck. That's like a lot of it. 31 shots on goal for Toronto. 23 hits for Toronto and 12 for Tampa Bay. 449 for Toronto and 1509 for Tampa Bay on a time on attack. 90% for Toronto and 79% for the passing. 31 faceoff wins for Toronto and 11 for the Bolts. Then it was the penalty minutes on Tampa Bay and a power play goal turned out to be Toronto with 46 seconds in the power play minute. And that was definitely it. So that being said, TB Bolts heading on to the second round to play against the Boston Bruins at TD Garden Arena. That'll be after the first game of the, uh, sorry, the first round of the game is completed because we only got a couple more left here. And then after that, it will be on the other hand that we'll be seeing the Rangers coming back in to find a winner here from the Hurricanes and the Islanders. It could be the next matchup in here, but uh, you never know what will happen. But anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying your uh, ho hockey play playoff game. If you get your brackets right, that's great. If you don't, well, you lost your points. No bets for you. <laughs> I am never placing a bet here once I turn 21. Well, because it's in a couple of months, so don't make me regret it. Because if I do, I will be really sorry. Yep, you hear me. Anyway, peace out everyone, everyone for as a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. 
This is Son of Beast, and thank you for joining with us. Great, great, great game for the Bolts to overtime, and great day of Tampa, along with so long next season of Toronto. Until we meet again. Bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.